Hi everyone, welcome to my home and welcome to Storytime with Spoons Across America and me, Miss Clarice. Spoons Across America is dedicated to building food explorers. That's kids like you who want to lead healthier, happier lives, starting with the choices you eat. Today's story is Right This Very Minute, a table to farm book about food and farming. The author is Liesl H. Delferson and the beautiful artwork is by Renee Carilla. Before I lead a story, I like to lead my students into a song. Would you like to try it with me? I'll teach it to you first. And it goes a little something like this. S-T-O-R-Y, S-T-O-R-Y, story, 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 boom. Would you like to try it with me? And it goes a little something like this. S-T-O-R-Y, S-T-O-R-Y, story, 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 boom. Now you're ready to listen and learn. Right this very minute. What's that you say? You're hungry for breakfast? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the stories of so many right here on your table. Looks like they're having some pancakes for breakfast. Right this very minute in a citrus grove, a grower tests oranges for ripeness. When the fruit is ready, the harvesting crew will pick the oranges, which will be squeezed into the juice you drink in the morning. Right this very minute, in a new field on a wheat farm, a farmer drills furrows the perfect depth for seeds. Your pancakes were made with wheat that was grown, harvested, and then ground into flour. Hmm, let's think. Pancakes come from wheat. What other food do we eat that comes from wheat? Okay, yeah, our bread, our bread is made with wheat. And, right, pasta comes from wheat as well. Right this very minute, in a sugar bush filled with maple trees, a sugar maker replaces old collection buckets with a new tubing system to carry maple sap to a storage tank. The sap will be boiled down in evaporators until it becomes thick and sweet like the maple syrup you poured on your pancakes. Wow, what a process. What's that you say? You'd like a snack? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the knowledge of so many right here in your hands. Right this very minute, as the sun sets on a cranberry marsh, a grower starts protecting the crop from frost. The grower will be up all night checking the sprinklers that keep the plants from freezing. Also, cranberries can become part of your trail mix. Right this very minute, on a southern farm, a peanut farmer installs soil sensors to make sure the fields aren't too wet or too dry. The sensors help the farmer decide when and how much to water these sensitive plants. What's that you say? It's time for lunch? Right this very minute. Then you need a... That's right, you need a farmer. You have the hard work of so many right here in your lunchbox. Right this very minute, a dairy farmer tends the cows the cheese in your sandwich was made with milk from cows that must be milked at least twice 
every day, whether it's a weekday, a Saturday, a birthday, or a holiday. Right this very minute, farmers till and test the soil for nutrients to make sure it's healthy before planting seeds that will grow into long, crunchy carrots. Wow, those carrots look delicious. Right this very minute, an apple grower works with a beekeeper to bring beehives into an orchard. Hundreds of thousands of honeybees will pollinate the pale pink blossoms, helping each tree grow many bushels of apples for you to enjoy. What's that you say? You're ready for dinner? Right this very minute. Then you need a farmer. You have the pride of so many right here on your plate. For dinner, it looks like they're having a potato with broccoli and cheese, a salad with tomatoes, olives, and carrots, and they have a hamburger on a bun with cheese, lettuce, and tomato. Right this very minute, a cattle grower moves the herd to a wide pasture to graze. She cares for the cows and welcomes her calves into the world. When the calves are old enough, they will move to new pastures or feed yards before they are harvested for the beef that will be made into hamburgers. Right this very minute, a farmer plans a crop rotation schedule to keep the soil healthy and grow more of the very best vegetables, like the potato you topped with broccoli and cheese. Right this very minute, some farmers prepare produce for delivery to grocery stores and others box it up to sell at local farmers markets. Where do you like to get the food that you eat? Grocery stores or farmers markets? Grocery stores, farmers markets, I like to go to both too. Before lettuce and tomatoes ever get tossed in a salad or put on top of a hamburger, they must travel from the farm to hungry customers. What's that you say? You like dessert? Mmm, right this very minute? Then you need a farmer and sometimes a whole farming family. You have the dedication of so many right here on your fork. Right this very minute, a grower checks the weather forecast in a family-owned strawberry patch while workers help hundreds of visitors pick their own strawberries. Right this very minute, a family checks their backyard coop to make sure the chickens have enough feed and fresh water. Then they collect eggs that get made into foods like the shortcake in your bowl. What's that you say? You want to grow your own food? Right this very minute? Then you need to think like a farmer. You can help plant a garden right here in your community. Right this very minute, you and your friends, family, and neighbors can work together to choose which crops to grow in your gardens. In a few months, you will enjoy healthy snacks and meals made with the fruits and vegetables you harvest yourselves. Wow, that's so cool. You can grow your own food. Did you know that? Every single day of every year, farmers tend their crops, care for their animals, and work hard to feed their families and yours. Next time you eat your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, or dessert, remember that somewhere right this very minute, there's a farmer to thank for your delicious food. And someday, you, when you decide to become a farmer, right that very minute, you'll be doing your part to feed the world, too. Wow, what a great book. 
Today I've read for you, right this very minute, a table to farm book about food and farming. To learn more about the tasty recipes that we make or other activities, visit www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. That's www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great night.